Hello everybody. Today we're going to be learning about something called singletons, or to put in simpler terms, it's really just one instance of an object can exist, and that's it. There can only be one instance of any given object. So, I have a simple game here where you have a main menu, and then you can press Z and go to the first level. And then if you press Z again, you get returned to the main menu. And the way this uh, level is set up, or the way this entire game is set up actually, you have a game object, and this game object controls the script. So we can really just call this controller. It controls everything in the game basically. So we have a specific script for it called game code, and this controller object is persistent. I'll show you here. Right here it says don't destroy on load. So anytime that we change scenes, this controller object still exists. And now if you watch, I'm in the main menu here, and you can see that don't destroy on load, you have the controller there. And if I press Z and I go to this level, you have all the level 1 contents while also having the controller. But there's a problem. If I press Z again and return to the main menu, <clears throat> you can see that there are now two controllers which we do not want. This means everything will be run twice and your game will start to slow down if you have multiple. If you keep on returning to the main menu you can see there's just more and more controllers which we do not want happening. So to fix this we actually need to implement the singleton. So we're going to start out by getting a public static game code instance as you can see right here. So this is basically just keeping track of this component itself and it's static because we want every instance of game code to be able to access this to, because this is static. And we actually want to do this in the awake. Right when the uh, object is created before anything else happens we want this code to run so that's the point of awake the awake so what we need to do is we need to see if instance equals null so, so this is just checking to make sure that the instance doesn't equal anything yet because we just set it we instantiate this variable but we don't actually do anything with it or initialize this variable so then what we want to do is we want to make this the instance and then we want to do the don't destroy unload this it doesn't actually matter if we put it here or here but it just looks kind of nicer if we put it here and then what we want to do is we want to see if the instance does not equal null and then if that's the case we need to destroy this game object. So, let's see if this works. So I'm in the main menu here, there's one controller, and I press Z, and I go to this menu. Then I come back, and look here, there's still only one controller. Whichever controller was the first controller is the one that stays instantiated. So whenever you go back to the main menu, it's trying to spawn in another controller, but it can't because it's checking this code right when it awakes and it sees that instance is already set to another instance of this game code. So, and that's possible because this is static. If this wasn't static, then we couldn't do that. Every single time you run this code, the controller would still uh, be multiplied and there still be more controllers because this needs to be static and it needs to exist for every instance of game code. So this is actually a pretty complicated thing so I'm happy that you were able to get this far in the video and able to hopefully understand this because this is really a sort of advanced concept but it's incredibly useful for your game. Another fix that you could have possibly done is before you go into the main menu of your game, you actually have a loading scene, and in that loading scene, 
you make your persistent objects and then once you get to the main menu you only have things in the main menu that are actually for the main menu and yeah you have a loading screen that only runs once in your entire game but for a smaller game you really don't want to have to worry about a loading screen and all that so you can hopefully just have this singleton implemented so thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.